at the O2, the ring walks. They were pretty spectacular ring walks and we saw that O2 arena. How did that feel, that walkout? My walkout. You know, I was backstage waiting to walk out and you could just hear just, just everyone shouting to Van Marshall. It was, it was, it was surreal. It really was surreal and that's a moment that I don't think I'll ever be topped again in my me, me career. I felt like I floated. I really did. It was, it was surreal. It's the only way I can ex uh, explain it. 20 years after she first laced on the gloves and joined the Harlepool Headland Boys Club, the most important, the most colossal sporting night for Savannah Rose Marshall. As soon as you're in there, you don't really, you don't really think about it. I remember there was a time early on in my career, I think I had to sell 50 tickets for a fight and I remember thinking, putting on Facebook, I don't have 50 friends. <laughs> what did I do there? I think I'd done about a thousand more. I would say it was awful, but I was so confident that I was going to beat her. So confident. It's the confidence I've ever been. Um, and it never happened for me. And I'd went through every emotion you could think of. Do I want to box anymore? Do I want to retire? Have I had enough? Why didn't that happen? His fault, her fault, that type of thing. So I'm only human. I can't remember. It was just so fast, so fast. The rounds were just, before you knew it, I was in round seven, round eight, round nine. It was, it was over. Bef like, it was like you didn't have time to think. I'd sit down on, this, on the stool, have a drink, and then you were back out. The adrenaline really kicked in that night. I thought the game plan was, was wrong. It was always a risky game plan to stick it on her, and I didn't think she'd be as tough as what she was. So hats off to her, I can give her that. <clears throat> um, I only recently, not long, watched it back, to be fair, for the first time. And, you know, I, <clears throat> she won. I agree, she won. The jab, the power, but Shields says she will get inside and show her class. And this is fantastic from Clarissa Shields. And Marshall is caught in a storm in this opening round. Well, it was rounds where I thought, how did I not get that round? Especially that last round. That one judge gave me that round. It's very close. Certainly finishes strong here, Savannah. This is a really good start to this round. Much, much better second half of the fight for Marshall. And you think when it's close, I out when the rounds are close, sometimes the favour, the aggressor, the person on the front foot. <clears throat> but look, it all adds for another chapter in the book. The quote! I don't think we're going to get this coffee yet, but will we get it in the future? Maybe after the third one. Congratulations to both of you, a historic night. Congratulations. Is the spirit of Clarissa Shields hovering over this one a bit, because her and Franchon are like besties? Uh, I feel like she tries to take people under her wing that just fight me. I think she really generally hurts me. It was the same with Hannah Rankin. There was a period where her, her, and, her, uh, her and Hannah become like best friends. I don't know if it's a sign like, does she want to be my friend? You know, like at school where you turn everyone against that one person, really like, you want to be the, their pal. Maybe it's reverse psychology. And she had a little dig at the end of the press conference about me having nothing and having things on a silver platter. I'm going to tell you the difference right here, right now, between me and Savannah. The fact that you think you get, you get dog walk your last fight, think you get another shot. To have that inclination, I never had that luxury. So you fighting and you keep thinking you gonna walk over me and you're gonna act like this isn't, this isn't happening right here, it's gonna be a long night for you. That's all I can tell you. We fight for two different things. Cause for me, even when I win, I lose. When you lose, you get babysat. You get pushed, oh, I get another opportunity, I want the rematch. Nah, like this title, like the, like the poster say, all or nothing. You ain't got nothing. I got it all and I'm gonna keep it. I've had nothing given. I've had the door slammed in my face many a times. Moved to America for an opportunity, didn't work out, come back. Went with a promoter, got offered a world title at light heavy, that fell through. No opportunities at super middle, she's saying I avoid this. She wouldn't give me an opportunity then. Come down to middle box Hannah Rankin, left that promoter and got myself in a position where 
I thought the Cruiser Shields fight would be it would give me the best opportunity, give me the biggest payday, be on with the biggest broadcasting network. Um, do you think Clarissa done anything to, to swear that? Do you think she got that fight there, how big as it could be? No. She brought nothing to the table. It was me who got myself in that position. It was me who got us the biggest paydays of our career. And what did she do? <laughs> you gave Franchon a little fist bump as well. No, she shouted me over, and I know Franchon. I know her from, we boxed in 2011, and we were always on the amateur scene together. <clears throat> so like, I'm quite familiar with Franchon. And uh, yeah, she shouted me over, and I'd walked over and she shouted something like, come up to 168 and I'll give you a shot. And I remember thinking, are you really just calling me out? Like, I haven't even got out of the ring. What are you playing at? Trying to get your neck in. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, and it was a fist pump. A bit cheeky that, isn't it? Nah, I thought, afterwards I thought, God, let, let, let me and Chris have a moment, do you know what I mean? Jumping on it. That's why I thought, yeah, you, you, were gonna, you will take that over any other fight. And I could see that the, the build up, the gloves are off. This is what she lives for, the, the whole, the build up, the media. Like, this is what she's worked her whole career for. I don't hate it. Um, it's all part and parcel of it, but just when I was in, in and around her, I thought, do you know, you're more grateful for this than the actual, do you know, the build up of the fight, like the actual fight. Whereas I'd be more waiting for the fight rather than the, you know, the media side. No time for losers, cause I am the champion. Undisputed of the world. <laughs> Franchon Cruz is in. Is she any good? She's smart. She's very smart. She uses what she's got to her advantage. You'll probably look at her and think, oh, she's novicey. She does this wrong, she does that wrong. But it's working for her. She's the champ. It's all down to timing um, and being relaxed. She's, she's a big girl. She's a big girl, her pace drops dramatically halfway through, <clears throat> where I'm quite the opposite. I'm more of a slow starter, and I pick it up as the rounds go on. So it's all the ingredients for a good fight, really. Do you think it's a case of dragging her into that deep water, or is it just like you get that timing down, she's going to walk onto a big shot, bang? I've seen her take, but she's quite open. She's quite open to be hit. Um, and she takes some big shots, so she obviously got a, she's got a, a tough chin. But, do you know when you're taking another one, another one, another one, another round, and another round, the start of um, wear you down. She's just more aggressive and she's a big lump. So when you've got someone like that leaning all over you, dragging you about, and she's dirty. She was dirty back in the amateurs and she's dirty now. She'll throw you on the floor, she'll tie you up. She, like I said, she'll lean all over you. So she, she's experienced, she knows all the little tricks. She chose me. She called me out. I was the chosen one. Is she uh, is she biting off more than she can chew with Savannah Marshall? She's getting she's getting a big pay there. She's getting the biggest pay there of her career. So it was either boxing mandatory, get pennies, probably get beat, or box Savannah Marshall, get a big pay there and get beat. Is she confident? Um, I think she's got to be. She's coming in with all the belts. She's the champion. <clears throat> she's got to be confident. Um, she's coming over here. This is where it's all happening at the minute for female boxing, I, I think. So she had to come here. Um, she's getting paid well. And uh, a win over me will open plenty of doors for her. So she's, she's got to be confident. Everything. I don't, she's bringing them all to the table. So it's not like I have to go and pick them up one by one. I lost my last belt, so I've got nothing ever. I'm coming to the table with nothing. I'm going to leave with everything.